on this episode of Whiskey Tango Food Truck, we are making the Bloody Mary chicken, fried chicken, or some shit like that. I'll be damned. This potato water is made in Austin, Texas. You believe that shit? Fucking Austin, Texas. Fucking vodka. Texas. Well, that kind of screws up my whole, uh, my whole thing I've got going here. So I guess I'm going to have to uh, change it up a little bit. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take us some of this here Tito's. <laughs> made in Austin, Texas. <laughs> Bad gun. We're going to take a little bit of this bloody Mary mix and uh, we're going to make us a little bit of a, uh, what do they call them? Marinade. A little marinade. And uh, we're going to throw some uh, chicken in it and then uh, throw a little batter on her and uh, we're going to see if we can't uh, fashion us a little bit of a bloody Mary batch of chicken. Okay? Hey, follow? I'd just like to welcome y'all to the shit show. <laughs> Y'all with me? <laughs> All right, then. First thing we probably have to do is, uh, I don't know, the first thing is take a pull off the old stag bear. <sighs> there we go. And uh, we're going to make us uh, a little uh, little marinade slash uh, little, little bath. I don't know, whatever the hell they call this shit before you put the breading on it. Pretty sure we ought to start with an egg there. Crack that dude in there. Yep, yep, this is not for you. We'll throw that in there. Might be able to dig this off a little bit here. Let's see. Let's get, uh, get a little bit of this uh, tater water. Spin the cap off out there and get a little tater water. Let's just put just, just a little bit of tater water in there. All right. I got that bottle there. Actually, that's just for show. I've got some uh, some more in the fridge over here. Go ahead and get that out. I've got, uh, let's see here. Where'd you go? Oh, there she is. A little bit of the good juice here. A little bit of that Bloody Mary mix. Holy shit, that's tight. There we go. Let's pour a little bit of that Bloody Mary mix in there. Oh yeah, that looks just, just delightful. A little bit more, there we go. Do the old fork trick here and get out the old fork. There we go. Let's stir that, uh, stir that mess up there, that's a good. Just Bloody Mary concoction there for the chicken to uh, soak in for just a little bit there. Oh yeah, that's right nice. Right nice. Alright, so yeah, I might get a couple spices out here. I'm going to go to the, consult the old spice cabinet and uh, see what we can come up with. Alright, so I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. A little Irish secret here. I don't know about y'all, but... You know, they say these are our chicken tenders, but they're always just not quite as tender as what I really like. So I'm going to show you all how to make the chicken tenders extra tender. This is actually going to prove quite challenging to do with one hand. <laughs> Reminds me of a few other things. <laughs> Moving on. All right, get in there. Oh, bitch. There we go. We'll take us about uh, about three of these here chicken tenders and throw them in the old plastic satchel. Get one more in there. I think that's just about probably just about enough room. All right. I've already got the bag uh, pre lubed with a little bit of little olive oil. Make sure that. Uh, just take nice and slick in there. Everything's better with a little more lube. <laughs> Shit, we all know that. All right. All right, let's flatten that down a little bit. Go ahead and, oh, look at that. Just seal that dude right up. Now, <clears throat> some of y'all might be familiar with the old meat tenderizer. 
the old hammer with the little waffle ends on it. I rinse my hands off here. We uh we we gonna do the Irish method here. We ain't we we ain't quite got one of them. So we're gonna do what I like to call the Irish method. Oh there we go. Alright, so throw things of chicken there and Oh yeah. Works just fine. I already be proud. I ain't gonna lie. That, uh, that looks pretty gross. All right, now we got this uh, this base done here in this bowl. We're gonna throw some uh, we're gonna throw some basic spices in here. You know, just your your simple shit. A little bit of uh, a little bit of pepper. Can't go without the old pepper. A little bit of kosher salt. Don't have a shaker, so this is how I roll. A little bit of that in there, and I thought it should do. And uh, if you paid attention to my last video, you noticed that uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the old more spice. Everything's nice with a little more spice. Shit, and I almost forgot. No, oh, goddamn, it's gonna be fun to take off with one hand here. I'm gonna have to put you down. There we go, and we're back. Just a little bit of olive juice. Because, I mean, hell, what Bloody Mary is not complete without some freaking olives in it. And damn. We ain't barbarians here. Well, you know what? I'm probably going to take a little bit of... Just for good measure. Get the old fork back out here. Let me grab that dude. Take all of our spices and... Get that stirred back up real nice like... That's right. Yeah, throw that right there. Let's grab some of this chicken. Of this mess. Grab one of these pieces of chicken. Let's just toss her down in there. Let her sit for a minute. Grab his friends. We're gonna let that soak. Yeah, for hell for I don't know. Few minutes. Now I'm gonna have to wash our hands and drink another beer, I reckon. Yeah, that'll probably do. This fucking guy. Look at this. Look at this mess of shit. Want to make some fucking chicken? Fucking Irish pounding method? What the fuck is this? Uh, this is this is shameful with the potato water. Don't care if it is made in Texas. It does not matter. This is this is ridiculous. Drinking fucking beer with the fucking the fuck is this? No fucking deer on it. What the fuck? Actually, that's kind of cool. I don't know. What the fuck is this? I deal with the uh, goofy bastard from Texas. Well, you know, he fuck him. He's he's you know too much. He's too much. But uh, I must say, I do like his beer. So that being said. We've got a bag of, uh, you know, various mixtures, some uh, bread crumbs, little cheese, and you know some of the more spice, because fuck, who doesn't love the more spice? So we're gonna take, uh, open this guy up here, and uh, we're gonna scoop out a little bit of the, ah, shit, yeah, what the fuck, let's get right in there, there we go, let's get right in there, get some of the chicken, we're just going to... Drop it down in here. Let's just shake this up. Oh yeah, get violent with it. There we go. Just shake it up. Oh, goodness. There we go. Then we uh, try to figure out where the hell the chicken went. It's in there somewhere, I think. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's like fishing. We take this piece of chicken. Take it over here to the air fryer. You know, air fryers, this is all the rage. And uh, we do this uh, three more times. So we've taken the chicken out of the batter, and we put it in the little breading, shook it up, and then we threw it in here in the goddamn. It. That's bad enough, that communist son of a bitch. So, anyways, we got our, uh, we threw our chicken down here. 
Got that all breaded up real nice like. We're gonna throw it in the old air fryer. Go ahead and uh, get this dude all shut down here. There we go. Get that no shit. Get that, get that, son of a bitch. Ow, fuck. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, let's see, let's see, uh, cook temp, blah, blah, blah. we're doing fried chicken. Let's crank it up to 380, 385. We'll go, yep, yeah, 15 minutes, sounds good. Go ahead and turn that dude on here. Look at that down there. Been checking on her from time to time. We're going to see how this old uh, Bloody Mary chicken turns out here. Hopefully pretty good. That getting golden, getting golden crispy up in this sunbitch. I'll tell you what, no, where's that dirty front again? <laughs> Bachelor. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's just getting golden brown. Oh, hey. Got some beeping going on over here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that golden brown deliciousness right there. Fucking lit the son of a... Well, you don't know this ain't going to be complete. Without some of them good old jalapenos. The old Mexican pickles. Put some of them dudes on there. Before we pioneer this. Good trap by itself, but man. Seems like a thing to do. The struggle's real. Alright, so we're gonna give this a go here and uh, see how this uh, turned out. Let's see how this goes. Well, I gotta say, that's, uh, that's some pretty not bad chicken. Pretty not bad at all. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. Better check and make sure again. That, uh, That'll definitely make a turd in your butt. So yeah, I'm not sure uh, what's worse. The fact that uh, I made one of these stupid videos or the fact that uh, I got a bunch of you guys that requested me to make more. I don't know. It's hard to say. But here we are. This, is probably, this one's probably not as good as the first, but eh, we're learning. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to throw this in the old YouTubes. And, uh, yeah, never thought I'd say this, but, uh, hit the old like and subscribe button. We'll see what happens. See if we can get this old fat bastard some, uh, YouTube money. And if it just happens to happen, eh, chances are half the guys that are watching this, I'll end up buying y'all booze with it anyway, so, yeah.